Dennis Spencer is a very good friend of mine, and he is the CEO of Capstone Clinic. And you can check out Capstone Clinic at capstoneclinic.com. You know they're a sponsor of this show. He's also CEO and one of the owners of COVID Secure. When you've gone through the airports, a lot of the, a lot of the testing and vaccination processes across the state. Uh, how about in Dillingham or that area with the commercial fishing out of state as well and partnering with the state of Hawaii and such, this COVID Secure is very impressive and it's technology that under Dennis's helm, as well as Capstone spread out across the state now, he is doing very well. And Dennis, you are a medical practitioner and you've got both of these hats you wear. Is it tougher than being, what was it, a four tour of duty combat medic in war? What's harder? Hey, good morning, Tom. Uh, they both were very unique experiences, man. I, I don't think I'd wish to go back to Afghanistan, so I'll fight this fight any day, I think. I hear you. We're looking at statistics across, and thank you for your service, of course, a lot of veterans owning and running and, and under your, your leadership at Capstone. So if you're a veteran, consider that. Let's talk about what I just did and what I did a couple of weeks ago. My wife, Lila, and I, who you have treated, Dennis saved my wife's life in a sense. It could have gotten much worse. She went into some shrubbery and her eye was so closed. He said, if you didn't come in, it could have permanently damaged. And he basically saved her eye. So I say this sincerely. Thank you. She'll never forget you and remembers you uh, over at Capstone. That That's your doc hat, your practitioner hat. But let's talk about Sears. We went over and we got a vaccination a couple weeks ago. Pfizer, number one, no problems. We got number two. She feels a little fluey as you had predicted, but I feel great. Arm sore. I went into that vaccination site and it was gorgeous and i don't mean that weirdly i mean it's sears but but it's vacant but you have it clean signs everything perfect it went smoothest i've ever been through a you know a medical experience and the staff was no joke the nicest i've ever talked to and it was fair square we got we got our cards and they said hey get them laminated so we got them laminated took photos if we travel that's helpful or at a hotel abroad is that the system that you created and are you happy to hear that experience that's that's perfect tom that's exactly the way this ought to work right so if people are willing to come out and get their vaccinations done they ought to do it in a place that's welcoming that's nice clean it's professional and it ought to be quick and efficient and get you in get you out and get you on your way yeah so i'm glad that that was your experience son that's exactly how it's supposed to work and you guys are open every day there and i think like at noon on weekdays and and you can go to capstoneclinic.com because it's changing there's a lot of moving targets i don't even want to tell you how much spence (laughs) runs it's it's i don't know how you do it without (laughs) having advil by your desk you probably do but that said so so what's the pitch for folks to go and get, what if someone said, well, I don't want to get a vaccination, what would you say? For those that do, why is that an option if you're in Eagle River, Chugat, Peters Creek, Anchorage too, but I'm thinking of proximity or any place in the Valley. I saw the Watchman, read the Watchman article that we're second lowest for vaccinations. COVID can come from that. What do you say about someone that says, why should I get a vaccination? You know, Tom, that's a really great point. The, the, the Valley statistics were surprising to me, quite frankly. I mean, we have what, right now what we're called, you know, sort of the movable middle. And I'm, I'm borrowing this phrase from some friends over at the state. And, and these are folks that may not know where to get the vaccine. Whether or not someone wants to get the vaccine, that's a very individual choice. I get it. What I, what I can tell you as far as I'm concerned, Tom, as your friend, I had my family get it. I gave it to my children that were old enough to get it. Uh, I've recommended all my family get it. I recommend my friends like you and your wife get it. That's the biggest, you know, support for this vaccine that I can tell you. There's a lot of opinions out there. There's a lot of science and sort of not necessarily science floating around, sort of uh, framing the, the discussion. But at the end of the day, I had my family do it. I'm confident in this vaccine. And I I recommend that people get it. And when we look at, let let me ask this, say yay or nay if they support the vaccinations. Does the federal government support it? The federal government says you should get this vaccine. How about state? How about state? Of course, yeah, the state. And then how about the medical association nationally and locally? I read that they do. All in support. And then what about practitioners, folks that deal with patients, surgeons, patients, family practice, like what you do? I read that somewhere it's over 90% of those practitioners have received a vaccination and their and their staff has, like you. 
if that's accurate, it sounds like it is. I mean, that, that, that's kind of the protocol, right? It's not like it's a unique idea to get a vaccination. No, not at all, Tom. I mean, look, we've been vaccinating, immunizing people against various diseases forever, uh, a long time here. This is another vaccine, and, and we're all in support of it. Not all. I mean, I can't speak for of everyone, course. but the ones I know are certainly in support of it. Yeah, and as well as the military. So, okay, well, right. Dennis Spencer, we're going to make, I'm going to actually take this and, and rerun it so people get the message. The smaller Sears in the Valley and Wasella smack dab in the middle. We'd like you to go out and get it. I did it. Dennis did it. Lots of folks have done it. I, I know so many that have got it and with no problem, I recommend it. Hey, Dennis Spencer, CEO of Capstone and COVID Secure, bless you. And from me and my family and saving Lila, thank you for what you do each and every day. Oh, my friend, I really appreciate the time on the show. Everybody come out and get those vaccines. Okay? Absolutely. Capstone Clinic's Dennis Spencer right here on the Tom Anderson Show.